Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings was released in 2021 and was directed by distant Daniel Cretton. It tells the story of a martial arts mentor named Shang-Chi who has to face his past as he discovers the mysteries of the Ten Rings. Before the reviews came out when the film released, I wasn't really that interested in the film. I don't know, it just didn't really appeal to me all that much. My interest mainly sparked when the good reviews came out, but I wasn't interested enough to go see it in cinemas. I am, the, mostly to be honest, I am more hyped for Spider-Man No Way Home coming out in a few weeks, which is a week before Christmas, December 17th. But after watching the movie last night, I have to say, I actually really liked this film. I thought it had a pretty good story. Yes, I think the storyline was really engaging. It was really interesting. The lore is very, it's very unique from other MCU films. The world building is phenomenal. And it does have, it has a good story. And there's a good story of, um, of learning. Um, that's kind of the theme as the main protagonist learns how to, you know, discover the mysteries of the Ten Rings. I do think the main problem the story suffers from is its pacing. The pacing in the first half is pretty good, but when we got to the second half, the film started to really drag, and my interest did honestly start to drain a little. But when we got to the climax, I have to say the film was very impressive with the action sequences. Visually, the movie just looks amazing. The CGI, special effects, and cinematography are just phenomenal. However, there's some shots of the action sequences where you're looking at the side of a bus and it just looked really odd and I think that could have been fixed. But for the most part, visually the movie looks amazing. It has a good story and visually incredible. Like visually, this is just amazing to look at. The characters are pretty decent in my book. I think the dynamic between Shang and Katty is really well done. It's funny and definitely brings in a lot of the film's heart. While some characters aren't as memorable as others, the one that confused me the most was the quote-unquote villain of the film. It was just really confusing. Is he a villain? Is he a good guy? I don't want to spoil anything for those who haven't seen the movie. It just, I don't know, it really, really, really confused me with the villain. I just, I got a little confused. I will. I would definitely like to rewatch it to see if I understand a little more on a second viewing, but it's just, on first viewing, the villain just genuinely had me confused. I was a little like, I was a bit lost with the villain. I was a bit like, wait, what? So yeah, that was kind of another issue I had with the film. The music was also pretty good and was very catchy. Overall, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings may suffer some pacing issues, but it's got a very well-told storyline, amazing visuals and cinematography, it's got likeable characters and a very good score. I'm going to give Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings an 8 out of 10. So yeah, it was a pretty good film. Stay tuned for the next review, which is going to be on The Eternals, and hopefully in a few days we'll get a second trailer for Spider-Man No Way Home. What did you think of the movie? Let me know in the comments below. Stay tuned for the next review. Until then, everyone. Skadoosh everyone and take care.